Nicola Sturgeon's SNP could resort to passing legislation through the Scottish Parliament taking Scotland on a different path to the controversial UK Internal Market Bill. Boris Johnson's plans to tear up aspects of Brexit divorce deal with the EU with the Internal Market Bill which the Prime Minister hopes will unify and return powers back to the UK after the transitional period ends on December 31. But after a long debate in the House of Commons last night, opposition motions were defeated and the bill cleared its first Commons hurdle after MPs approved giving it a second reading by 340 votes to 263, majority 77. The bill will now progress to the committee stage before eventually going before the House of Lords. The new legislation will force Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland whose members have opposed the bill to accept new standards on food, environment and animal welfare agreed by the UK government. However, Stephen Barclay, Chief Secretary to the Treasury warned Scotland could pass laws before the internal market bill is given the go-ahead in Parliament. Express understands the move is being considered by the SNP-led Scottish government. And now insiders have confirmed to this website it's being considered as the internal market bill progresses through to the next stage in Parliament. The bill, which will undergo line-by-line -line scrutiny from MPs on Tuesday, is also expected to eliminate the legal force of parts of the Brexit withdrawal agreement in areas including Northern Ireland customs and state aid as well as give Westminster final veto powers on certain devolved laws if they are a threat to UK trade, which has sparked fury from the SNP. Mr Johnson insisted the legislation, which would put the UK in breach of international law by breaking the terms of the treaty signed with Brussels, was a necessary legal safety net to protect the relationship between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It also gives ministers the power to fund infrastructure and development anywhere in the UK, which the SNP say is an attack on devolution because areas such as transport and regional development are reserved powers held by Holyrood. 